What's up traders, Robert H here. Wanted to try something different this week, do a little video recap, answer some questions that we had on YouTube. So first question from Marcel, Marcel's been a member of our chat room, you can see right there, he's been a member of our chat room for quite a while. Um, and, and his question goes, do you normally trade the afternoon, just power hour the whole day? Now I get that question a lot because people see me posting these recaps of these reversals happening random times, 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 11 o'clock, whatever it is. I try to make my day at the open, right? at the open late morning at, at the latest and if I haven't made my day I'll start looking for reversals I'll switch gears um, and, and you really got to think about it in terms of what time of day are which strategies more likely right so at the open you have orbs typical opening range breakups five you know two five ten fifteen minute orbs then you got you got ABCDs slash bull flags bear flags basically the same thing then you have VWAP reversals Sorry about that. VWAP reversal. I'd have much more room on this board if I was allowed to erase that. I'm not, I'm not allowed to erase that. I'd get in big trouble if I did. <laughs> Bearish engulfing cracks. All right, and then you have uh, late morning, you kind of start looking at VWAP false breakouts. You're looking at VWAP, VWAP reversals kind of come in, into this area as well. As things kind of revert to the mean, they get to extended. Um, and then, you know, at around 10.30, 10 10.45, I'll, I'll just drop those strategies. They, they'll still happen. You can still see things doing ABCDs, whatever. But the likelihood, just it, it goes down exponentially. As the number of people in the market start decreasing, the quality of the setups, I feel, are, are going down at a, at a higher rate. Because you need the volume, you need the confirmation for these moves to, to set up and, and, and um, the people to make them come into fruition, right? Uh, through the self-fulfilling prophecy, which is the stock market. So, you know, we get to the, this area, I start looking for reversals. Uh, trend trades, I, do, no, I don't try to take the trend trades. Trend trades, I don't take them, I wait for them to fall apart. And um, at the close, you know, at the close, I don't really have a strategy. A lot of people, you can still trade the close, there's action, volume comes in, uh, institutions are closing out and, and people are, are making moves, right? But the thing is, things will take shape. You can see flags start forming, things will just start running off, and it just seems random to me. It's not as um, set out as a, the way I view the markets this way. So, let's... um. Let's just draw something out here. The, you know, a typical stock in play. This is what Andrew teaches us in um, in class four of our classes here. A typical stock in play. Say we have a, the blue lines VWAP, right? VWAP here. At the open, what's going to happen? Well, you're going to get some sort of breakout, right? That's what we look for. Some sort of opening range breakout. Two, five, ten, fifteen minute opening range breakout. Boom, and then it goes. Maybe it'll consolidate, and then it'll go off again. That's a bull flag, ABCD, whatever you want to call it. Um, it'll go. Maybe it'll double top. Maybe it'll, maybe it'll do a bearish engulfing crack or whatever, take two candles and come down like that. And then boom, it comes back down. Test the VWAP. Maybe it'll do a false breakout, right? Do another ABC and then start trending. Trending, trying to get too extended and then go reversal, right? So I'm usually not on board for these. I'll try, I'm waiting for this stuff. Um, and I'm not in the business of timing tops or timing bottoms. This is actually related to the second question I got in the forums. We got in the forums, I think it was uh, JD, great name by the way, JD, he goes, do you find that since some of the move has happened by traders using lower time frames, that by the time there's a 15 minute low or high, some of the move has already happened? Yes. I'm not in the business of timing this top because things don't go up in a straight line. Things will go up, pull back, go up, pull back. Go. Every time you try to short it, you're shorting an uptrend, right? How do you know that it's going to fall apart? People are waiting to buy these supports. So I, I wait for the trend to change. I'm willing to wait for the later entry for that, right? That's a 15 minute low. That's the moving average is crossing over. I'm, 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 I'm in the business of, of catching a trend change, not of timing tops, timing bottoms. Um, next question is from MidCal19 something here. It says, uh, Robert, would you say that some of the indicators tell you the short and specific? Okay, so this relates to two minute orbs. Is the two minute candle enough confirmation to enter? That's kind of the opposite of what JD just asked. JD asked, you know, is the 15 minute too late? Um, you know, people trade off different time frames and certain strategies you look for different different charts to tell you what's happening at reversals it needs a longer term chart to, for you for to tell you that the trend has changed because uh you know these things are panning out over hours or, or whatever right uh orbs two minute orbs uh, that's perfectly fine i actually took a two minute, two minute orb today and i'll show you guys that um in a second here so let's get to the trades enough rambling about that hope you guys enjoy the new format and i really encourage you guys please if you have any questions leave them in the comments down below i'll try to answer them and uh, let's get to the station all right, here we are back in front of the stations, back in front of DOS Trader Pro. So the two minute candle, is it enough? Well, it really depends. I took this two minute orb on MAT this morning at MAT. It had gapped up huge, right? So very bullish to begin with. And the first candle closed, right? Nice solid white candle. I just took it as soon as it broke up, um, caught an, a, a nice move here. But what did I see that it helped co uh, confirm that? Well, basically the open, the pre-market was a giant flag. Look at this. And there was a 15 minute orb, right? If you count the pre-market. So as soon as it broke up from this flat top, 
uh, this was this was a good to go two minute orb in my opinion, right? On its own, was it enough? No, but other other indicators and other uh, breaks of other levels, right? I mentioned in previous video, as soon as it breaks above that, that pre market, any significant pre market levels, I'm taking it. And there it was, right? Entry was, uh, I don't know what it was, 1480 something. Uh, got some off there on the top of the wick. I'm not sure if this was a real order or fat finger. Uh, tested that 1604 level I had. I think that came from the daily. Came right back down. Uh, took some more off because that was a pretty scary dump. Held through this little pullback off the VWAP. So strong, right? This is because someone, people are waiting to buy that up. They're scooping it up, right? And then the rest out there. Then I saw it forming some, some, some sort of other flag type formation. I think Carlos also took this trade. So I just took it long right there. New two minute high. Uh, led to a new five minute high very quickly. Couldn't get to the high of the day. Got some off and then it started falling apart here uh, as you can see first it lost the two minute support started making lower lows lower highs in the five i got out of break even and then as soon as it lost the five minute support here um i think a lot of people just started bailing so so that was that now on to jd's question about the um waiting for the 15 minute low so here's ea trending up really strong today up 15 percent as you can see the whole day has just been riding the mas right trending up uh marching its way so where do you want to short this thing if you're shorting it on the five minute low Depends what your targets are, right? If you want to short it here on the new five minute low, put your stop here, your risk reward wouldn't make sense. It's less than one to one. This wouldn't be so bad off the shooting star, right? Caught support here and went back up. That, that, that's a pretty decent risk reward. So I actually took this trade, I waited for the new 15 minute low uh, and it was just so strong. So strong it decided to catch support, but I still got a pr pretty decent partial here. Um, so as you can see, it tested, it kept testing this 96 and a quarter, I believe. Just kept testing it and failing. So I said, okay, uh, losing the MAs on the two, new five minute low, and then coinciding with the new 15 minute low. Look how small that candle is. That allows me to put my stop right above the high of the day and get in on right at the break, right? As soon as it uh, breaks down below that, that previous low. Um, and then my rewards down here, hoping obviously to get down to the VWAP. Couldn't get there, just too strong. So uh, I, I managed to partial off here and then uh, the rest out uh, as, as soon as I saw it catch that support. But yeah, basically, um, you know, that, that's how I like to trade them sometimes. Sometimes the new 15 minute low is uh, the risk to reward wouldn't make sense, right? If um, the MA is right there or VWAP's right there, then you, you gotta wait for these things to get extended. I think that's a, a big key of this stuff because 15 minute highs and 15 minute lows are made all the time, um, but they don't always lead to reversals. It's just it's depending how far from the VWAP are you. So those are the trades on MAT and EA. If you have any questions, please leave them down below. I'll get to them. Have a good weekend and I'll see you guys in the chat room on Monday.